I made $25,000 in one day from one Instagram post. And in this video, I'm going to share with you exactly how I done that. I know there's going to be brokies watching this and say that's not true. Here's some proof on the screen right now. Let's jump into this video. First thing you need to understand, guys, in business, let's say I was going to coach college students on how to stop procrastinating. Am I going to be able to make $25,000 from these guys? No way. Why? Because they don't have the money. One of the most important lessons I learned about making money in business is the market that you're going after and the people you are helping and the problems you are solving. Am I going to charge Jeff Bezos the same price as the beginner entrepreneur? Yeah, Jeff, it's $1,000, mate. No way. Because of the value I'm providing to Jeff is what I will charge the guy. You understand? So when you're going out there and you're building your business, think about what niche and what marketplace you are going after. For myself, I mainly work with entrepreneurs, more specifically service-based companies. So marketing agencies, coaches, and that kind of realm of businesses. They charge higher ticket prices. So they charge 1K, 2K, 3K, and upwards with their services. So if I can come in and I can solve a problem that you have, and I can convey that to you. I can charge a premium price to do that. Like I said, if I was gonna go after and help college students with their mindset, I couldn't charge that much because I'm not solving a big enough problem for them and they wouldn't even have the money. Understanding your market, your niche, your audience is so critical when it comes to you making money. Hormozzi said it best, right? He said, solve rich people problems. I know for myself, as I grow my YouTube channel, that the skill set that I have, the value that I provide, I'm going to be able to charge hundreds of thousands for my services and what I help people do. Because I know if I can find, let's say a guy who's making a million a month, right? And I can help him master his mindset. I can help him reprogram his subconscious mind. What's that going to be worth to him? millions. So why can't I charge a hundred thousand to coach this guy and help him reprogram his mind? I can. So guys, make sure, number one, you understand the marketplace you're going after. You can go and serve restaurants, for example, or you can serve financial law firms. Who has more money? What problems are bigger that you can solve? The financial law firms. So do that. Adding on to this though, guys, you got to know your intention. You see, for myself, I want to help people transform their lives. I want to impact 100 million lives. So from that, my new business I'm launching, which is brotherhood.co, I'm going to be charging a dollar a day for it. Could I go out there and work with higher level people and charge more? Yes, but my intention is to impact lives and change as many lives as possible. And from that, I'm charging a very low price point. So again, when you're going out there, guys, understand what is your intention behind your business. That's a huge lesson there as well, guys. The second thing is this, get good at a skill set. For me, it was mastering my mindset and I continue to master this every single day. Because I'm learning a specific skill and I'm getting extremely good at it, I am the guy who is known for mindset. And if you didn't know, you're about to get to know by watching my content and subscribing to me. I'm the mindset guy. John Gab, mindset. That's all you're gonna think. John Gab, mindset. If I'm just another guy who's helping you grow your business, you're just like, yeah, that's another guy. If you're ever in a position with your business and you're like, damn, I've got all the information, I've got all the tactics, why can't I make it work? You're gonna go, it's my mindset. Damn, who can help me with mindset? John Gab, you understand? So you wanna get known for something and really hone in on developing that skill so you become the go-to person in that industry. You can make so much money. Again, if you look at a general practitioner or you look at a brain surgeon, who can charge more? The brain surgeon, because he's a specialist in a specific set of skills. So when you're going out there, guys, instead of thinking, how can I make money? How can I make money? Think, how can I solve problems? How can I provide value? And what skill set am I going to develop that's going to make me so fucking good that I can charge a premium price because of the value that I provide to the marketplace. If you can do this one thing, you will be able to make money forever. I've seen guys crushing it. You know, their, their niche, their skill set is creating VSLs and they can charge upwards of $25,000 to build a VSL for you. There's so many different niches, so many different skills that you can learn. But if you get good at it, you are gonna become the best in that space. You're gonna be able to charge a premium. The third thing is this guys, provide value. My intentions to help people are so pure and people know that. When they watch my content, when they join my coaching calls, when I'm working in other communities, you know, I coach inside Iman Gazi's community, I coach inside Charlie Morgan's community, I coach inside other 
big companies and I coach their, you know, their team or I coach the people, the students in the program, I go in there with one intention to serve, to provide value. The same with my YouTube channel, the same with my Instagram stories. Because my intentions are pure, I'm just giving, I'm giving, I'm giving. When it comes to me asking, say, hey guys, who wants to work with me one-on-one? -on -one? People are ready because they know me, they like me and they trust me. If you're not making the sort of money you wanna make in your life, let me ask you this. What kind of value are you providing to the marketplace? The type of value you're providing to the marketplace will be the direct correlation to the money you're making. If you're not making money, you're not providing enough value. Stop chasing money. You know, I always say this guys, you don't attract what you want, you attract who you are. If you are a person of value, you're gonna receive value back. You understand? Like I said at the beginning as well, if you are providing bigger problems being solved and you're providing more value to a specific place, you're going to receive more money. So please stop thinking, how can I make money? Me, 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 me. No. How can I serve? How can I provide value? One of the laws of this universe is if you give, you receive, right? So if you just give, give and give more and more and more, you are going to receive more and more and more. It's very simple. Guys, please, this is one of the biggest paradigm shifts I want you to have is stop trying to take, stop trying to make money specifically. I'm not saying that shouldn't be the goal. It should be the goal, but money is secondary. The effect is money. What's the cause of that? Value. You provide value, you get the effect of value, which is money. The next one is this, guys. Keep things simple and don't put things on a pedestal. When I put this post out on my Instagram story, all right, I had one guy, shout out to Dylan. He was messaging me, John, do you do one-on-one -on -one coaching? John, do you do one-on-one -on -one coaching? I said, no, I don't do one-on-one -on -one coaching. I don't do one-on-one -on -one coaching. He kept going on. I said, all right, bro, I'll do it. And I thought, you know what? Let me see if other people would be interested in this. So I put up my post and I had over 88 people said, yes, I want to work with you. And in that moment, I looked at my phone and I was like, ah, oh, damn, 88 people. What am I going to do? I was overthinking it. I was overthinking it. And in that moment, I calmed myself down. I became very present and I relaxed and I said, what would my higher self do? What would the multi-millionaire version of John do? The abundant version of John, the guy who's already at the level he's gonna be at. He wouldn't really give a fuck, right? He wouldn't be attached to it like, ah, I need this, I need this money. So all I done, this is all I done guys. People that voted yes, I pasted the link to them and I said, sign up here and then I will explain the next steps to you. And I've done this for two reasons. One, like I said, I'm unattached. I don't need the money, yeah? The second thing is I only wanted to work with people that were serious and committed and saw the value that I had. If I have to sell you and convince you into why you should buy from me, we ain't gonna be a good fit. So I tested it to see. And so many people bought it because they know me, they like me, they trust me. Going back to all of these points I've mentioned today, guys, I provide value, right? I have a specific skill set. When you put excess importance on something, when you need something, yeah, again, you will always attract back that which you are. So if you're going out there and you're like, I need money, I need money, I need money. I don't know what it is, but I've just seen this happen time and time again for myself and other people. When you need it, it's like you repel it. You're pushing it away from you because again, you're telling the universe, I need, therefore I don't have. But when you're just like, yeah, cool, pay here. You're almost telling the universe, like, I don't need this. When you're needy for something, you repel it. When you're abundant, this question guys, how would you be thinking, feeling and acting if you was already at your desired goal? When you can truly step into that, most importantly is how you feel, yeah? The energy you're projecting, how you feel about yourself. If you wanna know the secrets to the universe, guys, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. 369, if you know, you know. But that's it, guys. When you're projecting that energy out there, yo, I'm already a successful multimillionaire. How would they be? How would they think? The more you can clarify this version of yourself and step into that now, that's when the universe will start to reflect that back to you. All right, so guys, those are the main pointers I wanted to cover today and how I made $25,000 in one day. Like I said, I've got a specific skill set. I love helping people and I always provide value up front. I keep it simple. I'm not attached to stuff. I focus on serving people. And if you understand that, guys, if you realize that you go out into this marketplace, wherever marketplace you're in, and you think long term and you think, I'm not in this for the short term. I'm here to make money long term. I'm here to serve people. I'm here to help people. I'm here to win long term. Guys, you will never have a problem making enough money. Watch my channel grow and grow and grow and watch my income grow and grow and grow. It's in direct correlation. The value you provide is the value that you will receive. So let me know in the comments below, what was your biggest takeaway? Other than that, as always, no slacking. Go and follow me on Instagram at John Gab, and I'll see you in the next one.